I want to talk to you guys today, and everyone, um, about sunrises. Sunrises are called new beginnings, and there's a reason for that, and that is because they punctuate the beginning of every day on Earth. You might think, is this a lollipop? or is this the sun, depending on where you're standing in relation to it. And I want you to think of every sunrise that you get as a lollipop, and that you are a kid in a good luck shirt. You could say to yourself, I don't like lollipops. I prefer weather metaphors. And what today is about is teaching you to be more alive in every moment by figuring out which metaphor works for you. Now you might say, these words, one of which I won't say aloud. And when you say these words, you might need to know that what you're experiencing is a problem. You don't know why you're there. No one knows why you're there. Why do you have a braid? These are the kind of questions that you're going to find yourself asking yourself some point either in the last year, in the next year, or this decade. All people should have something called this. Can you say the uh, little thing with the speaker to the right of it? Decency, that's how you pronounce that. What are these people? These are people, in theory, with decency. And it's only some of them. Now when these people wake up in the morning, and look, they're walking into the sunrise. They may say unreliable people pay up front. And when they're saying that to themselves, what they should know is that they need another sunrise. They don't need a path to gold. They need to know that if they find an egg, that's not good. An egg is breakfast, and a sunrise is something that happens in the sky to everyone. Do you want to have something happen just to you? Because you don't need to have a punishment from God. If something happens just to you, that's what that is. Not always, but sometimes. I mean, don't take my word for this. In the sunrise, many things flourish. For example, hot air balloons and stalagmites, unless those are stalactites. You can't do that if there's not a day. You can't do that if you're not alive. Just think, this sentence was true. Once upon a time, there was no paper. Do you understand how insane that is? If it was then, you wouldn't think so. And someone might have said to you that they find you irrelevant, sexually, personally, also your fat and love is a lie. And that's what you need, a new beginning. If you can check off all of those boxes, it's what your whole body is craving for. It's not gravy, flour, and feces. Those are things. Those are things that could be in or on an egg. I don't, you don't know where the egg is in the kitchen, maybe. So when you're in that kind of a mood, when you have, like this says, your head so far up your ass, you, you know, have to crawl through your neck to be able to walk forward, which how can you, because your head's up there? You need to grab a hold of one of three things, logistics, relatives, or morons. Just pick one and tell yourself, tomorrow's gonna be different. Seth knows. Seth loves the word painted. Seth emails about that word. He didn't know that was gonna happen to him that morning. He thinks of this as just an egg. And where does an egg come from? You don't get it in the mail. If it's coming from you, it's coming from down under. And that's not the kind of day any of us needs to have. We need to feel like a couple of ladies in Long Island who are excited about coffee, about touching each other's vinyl clad knees, and sharing something called life. That my friends, is the best thing ever.
Sometimes people say sleep can be better and kind of can improve your life. Also really good communication, apparently. And also relationships. I mean, those are three things. Um, but I would say that all of those couldn't exist unless there was life.